listen to it? I'm going to do a fraction lesson today using some fish and other adorable animals. Boys and girls, have you ever seen a mother teddy bear hamster with her newborn babies? Well, you are going to learn about fractions while watching a mother hamster with her babies. Here is a newborn teddy bear hamster looking for its mother. Look, there is mother in the blue bowl. Boys and girls, how many hamsters do you see? Yes, two. How many of these hamsters is a baby hamster? Yes, one. When you write a fraction, boys and girls, the bottom number is the total. The total number of hamsters are two. So you draw a line above the number two, and we want to know how many of the hamsters are babies. So we're gonna put a one on the top. One half of the hamsters is a newborn teddy bear hamster. Now, boys and girls, what fraction of the hamsters is a mother teddy bear hamster? Remember, we have two hamsters. And how many of those hamsters is a mother? Yes, one. So we're going to put a one above the two. Remember, the two re represents two hamsters. And one half of the hamsters is a mother. Boys and girls, how many newborn teddy bear hamsters do you see? Yes, three newborn teddy bear hamsters. What fraction of the teddy bear hamsters are white? First, let's write the number of teddy bear hamsters. You said there are three. The number three will be the bottom number. Draw a line above the three. How many white teddy bear hamsters did you say there were? One. So we're gonna put the one above the three, and that means one third of the teddy bear hamsters are white. Great job, boys and girls. You are getting smarter. Boys and girls, do you see the two large fish in the water? A white fish and a spotted white fish with a red head. Well, what fraction of the fish are white? First, boys and girls, let's write the total amount of large fish. And what is the answer? Yes, two. Write the number two and draw a line above it. How many large fish are white? Yes, one. So write the number one above the two. The fraction is one half of the large fish is white. Aren't these dogs adorable, boys and girls? They are dressed up like crayons. One dog is a red crayon, and the other dog is a green crayon. What fraction of the dogs are green? First, we need to know how many dogs there are. How many dogs are there, boys and girls? Yes, two. Write the number two down and draw a line above the two. How many dogs are in a green crayon outfit? Yes, one. So the fraction is one half of the dogs is a green crayon. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. Do you see the guinea pigs, boys and girls? Count them. How many are there? Yes, three. And what is the fraction of the black guinea pig? Remember, write down how many guinea pigs there are total, then draw a line, 
and put the number of black guinea pigs on top. You should have come up with one third. One third of the guinea pigs are black. Your answer is one third. Good job, boys and girls. Look at the darling baby chicks, boys and girls. I want you to figure out what is the fraction of the yellow baby chicks. Now remember, first you want to count how many chicks there are. Then draw a line over that number and then put the number of the yellow baby chicks on top. Did you come up with two thirds? There's a total of three chicks and two of them are yellow. Two thirds! Great job, kids! Teaching tip. Parents, teachers, if you want your child or students to get the full benefit of the fraction lesson, have your child, students write down the numbers and fractions with me. Using all three learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetics will improve retention. Note, the slash line in the video means a line on top of the bottom number.